So I'm back at my hotel and one of the main concerns about traveling for moms who are breastfeeding, especially when they're not with their kids, is what they're gonna do about um, pumping in their breast milk. So I decided to try out the, um, the milk stork. And uh, so basically I had a box that's this size delivered to um, my hotel. And here is what we have. Um, so I have, uh, I guess like, 72 ounces of milk, which is about three days um, worth of milk, actually a little bit less. Um, and then instead of bringing it through security, through TSA, I'm going to ship it uh, overnight home. So if I didn't have enough milk, uh, Tommy would have enough because I could ship it pretty regularly. I'm only here in LA for three days, but um, I didn't want to have to deal with uh, carrying my milk through TSA, especially because I have a red eye, so I'm gonna have to check out of my hotel at like noon, and I don't know where I'm gonna keep the milk until I go back home, so I'm just gonna ship it home and I guess try to keep whatever I pump from noon till my flight holds, I don't know. So we're gonna see how it works. So here they give packing instructions for mom. Um, so gotta prepare the milk, stork shipping can cooler. Uh, fill the bags, here are the bags, with the milk, and then um, close it, seal, and then ship it. So this is kind of cool. I gotta figure out how this works. Oh, there it is. And then I guess I gotta read the directions on how to activate this cooling box. Pretty cool. So back at the hotel, today we are shooting at the hotel because this is kind of a video how um, I balance my life and it's a kind of a day in the life um, when I am on the road. And so we're gonna be shooting at the hotel and right now I am pumping the beauty of being a mom. Okay, so uh, this is day three. I've been in LA since um, technically Monday morning, Sunday night. Um, and so I told you guys about the milk stork. Um, so, oops, I don't know if that's supposed to come off or not. But so this is the top of the cooler. This is the cooler with my milk. And this is what, I'm not gonna show you the cover because it has my address on it, but it's just a little box. It's like that size. And so basically I'm going to uh, activate this cooling feature and then it's gonna get sent home to my house in Boston and where I'll be able to freeze all of the milk. So I've kept it cold here in the hotel and hopefully it's still cold when it gets home. Um, the cooler keeps it cold for 72 hours uh, and hopefully it works. So here's the video. So here the package arrived. I'm at home. It came first thing in the morning. It's 9.45. And we dropped it off yesterday at about 9.30. And there it is. And it is all still cold. Woo! Win. So I forgot to actually tell you guys what I thought about the service. Uh, in total, it cost me $180. Uh, that is including shipping, which was actually $30. Uh, so I guess it probably depends on how far your milk is shipped. I obviously shipped from Los Angeles to Boston. Uh, and I think my number one uh, recommendation would be uh, to use your own uh, breast milk bags. The ones that they gave leaked. Therefore, uh, in the morning when you saw me packing it up, I had to uh, transfer all of my milk from the NUK bags into my own bags that I brought and it was time consuming, tedious, and a pain in the butt. Other than that, it was a pretty good service. So since it is kind of expensive, it's a luxury, but if you travel a lot for work and you don't have a ton of milk at home, it's a great way that you can uh, send milk regularly back home, uh, especially if you just do a one day, uh, one with just 32 ounces. So yeah, you have you have two options. I didn't say this. Um, I have a blog post on Sarah Fit that you can learn more about these options, but you have the option to, um, pump and tote where you bring the bag with you through TSA um, or you can pump and ship uh, and that's what I did. I did the pump and ship and you can do one day which is 34 ounces or three days it's actually less than three days for 72 ounces and that's what I did um, hey Tommy so anyway uh, we liked the service this isn't sponsored I paid for it myself out of my own pocket and uh, if you want to know more go on over to my blog post on sarahfit.com see you guys soon